Welcome to Off Grid with Dave and Tanya. Today we're going to test the power consumption of this box fan. We're going to run it for eight hours and we will run it on a low setting. So let's get started. So on the label on this unit, it's here on the side. It doesn't tell you the wattage. It tells you the voltage and it tells you the amps. So it's 120 volts. That's what anything in your house is that you would plug in with a regular cord. And then the half an amp, the way to calculate to get wattage, would be multiply voltage times the half an amp. So 120 times one half amp would be 60. So 60 watts. This is rated for 60 watts. When I first started it up on high, it actually was, I believe it was 58, if I remember right. Uh, after it got running for a little bit, it looks like it settled down to 47 watts. So let's see what this fan uses on low, medium, and high speeds. This is low. The medium. And this is high speed. So because our new noise canceling microphones cancels the noise of the fan, uh, I'm doing this portion of the video without the, the microphone. So I have a piece of paper towel here. It's a full sheet. This is on low, so you can see. Oh. There's medium. There's high. Reset the meter. It's reset. We'll turn it on low. So it's been eight hours. Turn the fan off. Look at the meter. So we have eight hours of elapsed time. Total cost in our house at 20 cents per kilowatt will be five cents. 0.28 kilowatt hours for 280 watt hours. And that's what we've used. So in summary, this fan used 36 watts to run. So that's 36 watt hours. So the calculations seem to be pretty easy here. So 36 watts per hour, 36 watt hours. We ran it for eight hours. So 36 times eight is 288 watt hours and that's what we shown on our meter was 0.28 watt hours uh, it's hard to tell which way it rounds so it looks like we got the same results so if you run this for every hour say you ran 10 hours you could just multiply the 36 watts times 10 for 360 watt hours so the math seems to be pretty easy. So on high, this fan was using 47 watts to run. So 47 watts per hour multiplied by eight hours. So that would be 376 watt hours as compared to the 288 watt hours that we had. So it would be possible to run this on a battery system. If you had a small portable battery bank, um, it may not be able to run on it. Subscribe now.